Hey guys, and welcome back to Dayman 1998, where we last left off, we met the new Dr. Atherton, I think he called himself, <clears throat> and he wants us to go and check out room 10 in uh, the hospital wing, but before we do that, we are going to do some hacking, hard difficulty hacking, oop, one, there we go, and let's see what we have inside here. Not a lot, by the look of things. We've got a H additive. We have Shout! This is something based on a true story. Obvious Scream reference. Uh, of course. Biogenics. So this is 913. Old newspaper. An old newspaper clipping. The first page reads... New Sacred Heart Hospital officially opened. Mayor Klob, accompanied by a group of distinguished guests at Keen Sites Town Hall, cut the ribbon to officially open the new wing of Sacred Heart Hospital this morning. The latest expansion was made possible thanks to the generous financial contribution. Contribu contrib the fuck's sake. Don't get dyslexia, kids. <sighs> Contributions by Hexcore Biogenetics. The facility now houses several new departments such as radiology and pediatrics, to name a few, and is armed with cutting-edge scientific equipment and state-of-the-art technology. As a result, new personnel have also been hired, including specialised doctors, laboratory technicians, transferred straight from Hexcore Biogenetics itself. During the opening speech, which was filled with congratula congratulatory remarks, and thanks to everybody involved in achieving this unprecedented milestone. Mayor Klob added that even a new maternity ward is underway, ensuring a brighter future for our children, because children are the future of our beloved city, and they could not be in better hands. Uh-huh. Yeah, when they said uh, that these logs aren't really important to the story, I get what they're saying. But they sort of in a way are. But anyway, let's get out of here, shall we? So we picked up some slugs for the shotgun there. Now, they are essentially... Oh, let's go check out the restroom. They are essentially the upgraded uh, shotgun ammo. And uh, they're the most powerful weapon in the game. So, if you're wondering to yourself that you probably don't get many of them, uh, you'd be wrong. You get loads of them. But we'll be saving them all up. At least, I saved most of them up in my uh, first playthrough of this game. And, yeah, towards the end of the game, I literally had to throw ammo away. Now, I can't remember which way we're supposed to go f first. I think if we go... Right, F objective... Uh, bu 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 bu. I found the killer, but he's been kidnapped by some wacko people hiding out. Yes. Right. Heading for Rune 10 in the garden area. Okay, I think that's this way. If memory serves me correctly. So, let's go this way then. Is that the garden? Yes, garden. You right there, Chief? You having a good time? She doesn't look like she's having a good time. But uh, she's no threat to anyone. She doesn't really care. She's happy. She's chilling. Alright, so... Gardens. Gardens. Hello, love. Now, you need to be careful when that happens, because sometimes the, en uh, the game throws enemies at you right after that. Uh, and they're kind of difficult to avoid. Come on, you. Let's be having ya. Kind of looks like a monkey. Yeah, she's bleeding out. She's done. <clears throat> um, We have 28 shotgun shells. Oh, we don't. I'm lying. We've got, tw we've got 34 shotgun shells. Plus... <sighs> um, game. Thank you. Plus um, nine of the potent special ones. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Hello. 
Got that love. Ooh. She didn't like that. Right in the dome. Alright. Get the shotgun out. Evening. I am just here for your shotgun shells. Another nine of them. Oh, we did actually detach that guy's head. What a depressing little hospital room. Uh, I suppose you get your own toilet, washroom, I guess that's what it is. So, you know, quite fancy, I suppose. Can't complain too much. Now, nothing back here. Looks like they were trying to quarantine the area, but uh, I guess they ran out of time before the nasties came a knocking. What we got here? Fantastic, fantastic something. Some cards, plenty of cards. The food looks like looks like a. Is that a jacket potato? That is a either a jacket potato or a piece of bread. And an apple. Apples make sense. Apparently this place is famous for its apples. Hmm. Looks like we've got some bullshit out here. Alright. Well, I don't think we can get out. We can't actually get out there for a little while. So that's fine. Yep, this is locked. We need some kind of tool to open it. Well, I'm sure we shall find a tool for that. In good time. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Come on, monkey woman. You cannot tell me she doesn't look like a monkey. Oh, kind of need it. Oh, magnum ammo. All right, we'll take the magnum ammo. Apps are frickin' lootly. Not sure why there was magnum ammo there. We're not going to question it. We're just going to accept it. Dr. Jennings's log. Oop. Oop. Come on. No, go back. Thank you. I knew it. I just frickin' knew something like <coughs> What have you unleashed indeed? You monsters. <laughs> or something. Sam here. Can you hear me, Doc? I'm in room 10. Mr. Walker. What a pleasure to hear from you. Glad to know that you're still a fine specimen of good health. I can't imagine what you went through was easy. What am I supposed to do exactly? I don't see anything. Not to worry, Mr. Walker. You're in the right place. Although you can't see it, there's a special door in that room. Now approach the wall directly across from you with your DID. Yep. You can hear the beeping. So these rooms can be found all over King's site. They're used by Hexcore operatives to uh, supervise the city from the shadows. Yeah, basically these secret doors are... Well, the game says they're scattered all over, but I found them all in my first playthrough. And I think there was four? Maybe five?
What you must do is cut his right wrist and retrieve a small microchip implanted beneath the epidermis. A clean and simple procedure, wouldn't you agree? Now what the fuck else has to happen? Hidden doors? Implants with damn chips? Mr. Walker, I want you to listen very carefully. There are many forces at play which, unlike myself, you just aren't privy to. All you must do is do exactly as you're told, no matter how unsettling nor utterly unpleasant it may seem. Now hurry up and bring me that chip. Over and out. Yeah, <coughs> rather simple procedure. Done. <laughs> Dequade. So, status failed. Notes. VJO2 will likely be the last active subject of phase one. A dinosaur, shall we say. Conceived in the early 40s, around the same time that the Defense Department and CIA welcome hexacore biogenetics into Keensight. Phase one was truly the first BC weapons test the government conducted on its own soldiers. And arguably... <coughs> Oh, I don't know what's going on with my throat today. Touch of the zombie virus, I guess. Um, arguably the father of the MK Naomi program. The subject VJ02 called Roland Reed. Roland Reds. I wonder if that's the Roland that we saw earlier. Was once a young army officer who accomplished several top secret missions and later got recruited for a World War II campaign so daring and highly classified that its details are unclear to us even today. As of yet, VJ02 is likely the only surviving test subject that has undergone such a plethora of experimentation that even we've lost track of what was done specifically by whom involving which doses. We could blame it on the rushed and disorganized experiments performed by the researchers who have come and gone over the years that resulted in the current state of this particular stubborn yet pitiful creature. Given the likelihood of gleaning new or the unlikelihood of gleaning new data from its semi vegetative coma, we have deemed further research on this dinosaur to be a futile endeavor. Orders Activate purification protocols for subject VJ02. The subject, for some years, has been discharged from hospital and resides at home on the outskirts to avoid potential conflicts with the remaining subjects currently being tested on the premises. You are to immediately notify the hexcore operative in the noted quadrant so that he may prepare the subject for immediate disposal within the 48 hours. There are no further details. End Tyler. Yeah, that's the guy that we saw earlier. Now this machine here is your item box and your manual save station, right? Don't get used to this because for some unknown reason <clears throat> these can be hours and hours of gameplay apart. But, you know, how many hours have we been playing this game? And this is the first save manual save station that we've come across. Like, this is really bizarre how how rare these things are um it's it's interesting because you can store items in these and indeed you have to store items in these um blah 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 but at the same time we don't need the magnum ammo for instance but at the same time like especially on your first run you literally never know when you're going to bump into another one of these so you can't say oh i'm going to stick this here for later and come back and get it because there's many instances where you don't have access to one of these at all M the majority of the game in fact it's a really strange half-baked idea and for the life of me i can't understand it anywho let's drop some shotgun cartridges in there um, I suppose we can put down the improved ammo as well. Uh, there's a trade system here as well where you can quote buy um, health and other assorted items uh, off the system by trading them. For instance, if we want a magazine, uh, one magazine will cost us two hacking cables. I don't know why this system is here. I've never needed it. I'd, I'd, yeah, I mean, you can get um, 
if you trade 30 handgun bullets, you can get a box of improved handgun bullets. But you trade 30 for 15. Is that a good deal? I don't really think so. Because the difference between the special ammo and the standard ammo is very, very small. Uh, at least it feels that way. Um, and you can also trade two H additives for 15 handgun bullets. That seems like a really bad deal to me. Uh, maybe that's the MO on these things all over. And you can trade the base components of each health item for one fully made health item. Which again, that's a really, really bad trade. Like, you can trade three energy drinks for one health fluid but wh why would you I don't understand that I literally don't understand it anyway we can um, hand over ID tags here and the game will actually reward us with a, a H additive which is actually not too bad so I don't understand why the hell we have to keep these goddamn rags on I get that the company wants us to uh, wants to keep the workplace safe, but I've been parading around in this ridiculous outfit for five fucking years whilst my colleagues uh, glow with their crisp white coats and stethoscopes, and the smell from the cleaning supplies is just damn sickening. Now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't complain. The shit we've laced in the patient's the patient's food with, as well as the town's water supply, it's certainly worse than any brand detergent. A lot of them are already suffering from the side effects, so much so, in fact, that a new premature uh, that that a few premature deaths have been reported. On second thoughts, having to lie to friends and family about their loved ones being victims of a so-called phantom disease is a heavy burden. I'd rather leave to the pretty boys in white, especially when you're dealing with families who've become fed up with the same bullshit diagnosis and seek out a second opinion in which the situation becomes especially complicated when the company is forced to intervene on that note getting a fat pay just to feed the animals the poison they cook up in the lab is something that i can definitely live it's something i can definitely live it live it what do you mean live with at least for a few more years. Then things will change and I'll be rewarded for all my efforts. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Again, poorly... Oh, what the hell is going on in this place? Very poorly written stuff. Secret control rooms? Continuous monitoring of the citizens of Keen Sight? How is it possible? <laughs> How indeed. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> if we go back into this, we can actually put down our very first manual save of the game. You only get four save slots. So apparently we're 5 hours 41 into the game. Well, to be fair, I have left it on pause quite a lot, so it's probably to do with that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so regardless, we're probably, uh, we're probably a good couple of hours into this game now. And this is our first manual save. It's kind of silly. It does make having uh, multiple saves <coughs> almost impossible <clears throat> right let's get out of here almost looked like there was something in there yeah so the, I mean it put it this way it's so rare that I don't understand why they bothered to put it in there at all really strange but whatever I guess come on buddy didn't think I'd forgotten about you did you How much do you want? Honestly. Greedy, greedy bastard. Might not be done either. These things can take a lot of killing. Don't go at these with your pistol either. Because you ain't you ain't gonna put one down with your pistol. Not happening. Alright. So now we've got what we came for. Let's go back to the good doctor. I don't trust those guys. Okay.
don't think that guy's real. Nope, he's not real because our health isn't going down. Talking of which... Probably should have dropped some stuff off. Um... I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll be returning there later anyway. Right, cool. Yeah, unfortunately, apart from the fact that they don't hurt you, there's no way to tell whether one of those things is in Sam's head or not. Which, uh, that's really annoying, by the way. Hello, love. Yeah, we can't go through that. Let's go see the good doc, sir. parading around your hospital risking my damn life chopping corpses for you i see but didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient now that doesn't leave you much of a choice does it so let's cut the chatter and get back to the task at hand first you do something for me then i do something for you doc i hope for your sake that son of a bitch is really in there because if he ain't and you're riding me like a donkey <laughs> I'm gonna tear you a new one as tempting as that sounds I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me Mr. Walker let me assure you however that I am a man of my word <laughs> so what in the fuck should I do this time I want you to take this key you can use it to access the lower levels of the building there you'll find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one your device unlocked Well, I mean, at least he's keeping himself entertained in there. Right, grab the elevator key. <sighs> Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Now, maternity, huh? Let's have a little look around inside here, shall we? Hello. Let's feed you some bullets. Damn. That's not very good accuracy, is it? This guy, honestly. There you go. What a dick. I would say this ammo is at a premium, but, you know, I'd be lying. Alright, what have we got? Got a health fluid. Ah, yeah, this one's locked, isn't it? Um... Um, 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 check my notes. Uh, right. Notes, notes, notes. I don't know if I wrote this code down. That would be stupid. Um, tch -tch -tch. Did I really not? Ah, yes I did. It was six, six <coughs> seven. Ah, is it not? Hang on, I think I put the 
put it in the wrong area because you know that's bloody smart isn't it let's, uh, let's try two five one there we go it's that one yeah the other lock we don't need to use G uh, the other code we don't need to use just yet but we've got some special slugs from it which is a pretty bloody good uh, Brucey bonus if you ask me Right, what else we got going on in here? Now uh, we've got this bullshit out here. Hello, right there, mate. Well, let's rattle his head around a little bit. He's done. All right, nice little place you got here. It's total chaos. The hospital has become a deadly labyrinth. Uh, one wrong turn, and you'll find yourself on the receiving end of a dozen monsters. If that weren't bad enough, the government soldiers sent in to control the situation are even more unpleasant. They don't seem to give a damn about the safety of anyone here. I understand that they must act quickly to contain the outbreak, but we've already moved the infected cadavers to the most isolated part of the building, which should be enough to hinder further infections. But no, their orders are to burn everything, so in the middle of prepping a bunch of corpses for disposal, the creatures broke loose and one spark was enough to ignite hell on earth. To make matters worse, the sprinkler system in the east wing of the hospital has malfunctioned, so most of that area is now inaccessible. It would be impossible to extinguish those flames with an ordinary fire extinguisher, so we need to recruit a volunteer to go down into the basement and restore the water pressure to fix the system. The only problem is finding someone brave enough, especially considering that the whole level is a goddamn death trap. Well, I guess we've drawn the short straw, Mr. Sam, which does seem to be a theme, doesn't it, my friend? Okay. Well, let's have a little look in here. So this is a hard difficulty. We want Q and F. Oof. One. There we go. Now, what do you have for me? Ah, oh, 20 handgun bullets. Well, that was worth it. Right, let's go have another look around in this place. Ah, oh, hello. Go there, friend. Silent Hill nurses, these are not. They really do look like uh, drag queens to me. Can you say drag queen? I have no idea. Huh. I'm actually being genuinely honest about that. I actually have no idea. Is that still a thing? Ah, fuck it. Everything's offensive to someone. Right, okay. Come at me, sir. Honestly, you guys. Right. Not taking any shit from you, sir. Ah, balls. Yeah, this is a bit of an issue. Inventory is full. May have to go back. Uh, and drop some things off. Um, 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 um. That is just a standard additive. Uh, I mean, technically, we could just combine those two things together. We're going to use that up in a minute. Oof, it's just that, yeah, starting to get to the point where we've got so much ammo. You know what? Oh, we actually have time here anyway, guys, so what I'm going to do off camera, uh, I guess we could activate the, oh, big boom. Well, that's the way we need to go. And uh, let's just say we're not going that way. For fairly obvious reasons. Right. Inventory is full. Of course it is. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm, there's no way around it, is there? I'm going to have to go back to the item room. 
We should actually be grateful here because in a lot of places in this game, as I've said before, there is no item rooms. So the fact that we do have one that even if it is like 600,000 miles away is kind of a blessing. So I'm going to have to go back to it. God damn it. To be fair, that is 100% my fault. And we can see if we use a healing item, our health will slowly trickle up. Uh, it doesn't give you any um, overdose or anything like that either. So, you know. <laughs> now, when I played this the first time, uh, I didn't actually really... Hello. Hello. Sneaky son of a bitch. I didn't actually use many healing items at all. So I don't know if this time is going to be any different. Generally, more things go wrong. Oh, that is actually a real one. Yeah, generally speaking, more... <laughs> More things go wrong when you're recording because you're not concentrating as much. Now, it might not be worth cutting this out then if we've got enemies to fight along the way, which is fun. Is that all of the enemies? It might be all of the enemies. I'm not a fan of having to hold down. Uh, two buttons to run. Now, you can go back to these secret rooms as often as you need to. Which, you know, makes sense. Oh, also, by the way, these hexacore data computer things aren't in all of the secret rooms. In fact, uh, you know what? I think we'll, we'll drop those. We'll drop a full pack of bullets. Um, they're probably going to be in there for the rest of the game now. Because don't forget, we've got ten more bullets in there as well. Um, guess for now I'll drop that and I'll drop that. Yeah, do we want to keep the H additive? We're probably going to bump into something that we're going to need. We really don't need two healing items on us. Uh, it should be fine. I guess. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it there. When we come back, um, I shall meet you back where we were. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.